How's it going guys? Butters Bridge here and welcome to another episode of my Bronze to Riches series. As you can see the coin balance is just over 840k. A um, little less than I was expecting actually from the last episode. Um, considering I got that brilliant pull with Gargo, I thought he was worth over 10k um, from what he was like last year. But it turned out I think he only sold for just over 3. Um, but the other bronze guy I had sold for just over 3 as well. Uh, as far as trade pile, I've actually still got two items left, but I'm going to record this now anyway. Um, two uh, con contracts are left, that's it. It's taken a bit longer to sell than I was expecting last time. But uh, as always, we're going to go straight on and we're going to open... I don't know why I've clicked on gold packs. Let's go back. <laughs> and I could have gone back to that one, but... Anyway, we're going to open some bronze packs as usual and we're going to go for the 750 coin ones. So here's pack number one. And Bodka. He looks like he's a rare. He doesn't look that good, but wow, we've got loads of coins in that pack. We'll add him to the club. Um gotta send him to the trade pile, because you never know with uh, Belgium coaches. And send these straight to the consumable pile. And five hundred coins just from that pack alone. Really good way to start. Definite profit from that pack. Get rid of them. And we'll go straight on to pack number two. Let's see if we can get anything better from this one. Platt. Now, is that an English player? It is, and he's got 47, 48 pace. Sorry. He might be worth 500 coins, you never know, or 100 coins. But more importantly, a good few consumables here. I'm going to keep the healing cards, although, again, they've not been selling very much. I don't know about you guys, uh, but they've not been selling for me. And a free pack, which is nice. Get rid of all that. And go straight on to another pack. And we have got Kern. Is he German? Is that a German name? It is. Yeah, it looks damn decent actually. 77 pace. He might be worth a good few coins. Deegan. Again, 71 pace for a centre mid. Pretty good. And again, more contracts. And a healing card. Yeah, with these healing cards, I don't know if anybody else is noticing it because of. Obviously, the lack of injuries, they're just not selling at all. I'm even str struggling to sell uh, gold ones. Again, don't know what they've done. But uh, it's made it quite disappointing, I must admit, from trying to sell stuff. But anyway, here's another pack. And we've got a nice fitness coach there. Send him to the save trade pile. And we'll add all these consumables. A nice player, player fitness card, that's what we're after. Player fitnesses and squad fitnesses. They're the ones that are going to make you all your coins. Well, that's what I've been finding anyway. As well as getting lucky, pulling some decent players. So here we go, straight onto another pack. And Bolt Chalk, was it? Don't think he's rare, looking at that. Yeah, but no, Butcher Lick, his name is. Anyway, more contracts. And again, loads of kits. I tend to always get a lot of kits for some reason at the moment, and badges. Um, whether it's something they've done uh, before FIFA 13 started. Just to try and get rid of these methods. <laughs> but anyway, Anderson. Anderson, he's rare. Is he good? He's um, so so. He looks a bit better though. Nice Saudi left back. He might get a someone. Look at this here. Uh, three balls. Three balls from a pack. Three silvers. That's just trolling me there. Or trolling me. Whichever way you like to pronounce it. Absolute joke. Don't think them balls are worth anything either because they're white. Centre is the coloured ones which uh, I tend to save. Anyway, straight on with another pack, see if we can get any better. Newell. Is he English? He's an English left mid with 80 pace, that's more like it. You might get your 500 coins, maybe okay. And a couple more contracts. Loads of kits and badges, well, loads of badges this time, three badges. 100 coins, that's always nice. And a ball which is probably not going to be worth much because it's quite basic. Straight on. And we'll open another pack. And we'll get Clark. Ooh. How do I know this guy? Oh no, it's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking there's a high paced guy with that. Uh, but we've got another rare centre back. <laughs> another guy, and I don't know what that was, but this guy's not got a face. He's had his face taken off. Anyway, <laughs> we'll uh, get rid of them. And that ball might be worth a bit, so I'll send that to the trade pile. And get rid of them and on to another pack. Hopefully there'll be something good in one of these next few packs. I don't want to have a boring episode really. Alcabe. And I don't think he's rare, look at that. 
Nope, not really at all. And look at that. Two contracts. Uh, just look at the amount of kits and badges there. That's just a joke. Especially when they're not worth that much. Let's get rid of them. Come on. There must be a good pack in here somewhere. Give me something worth recording this video for. Fallon. Fallon, is he rare? He looks rare. And he's absolutely rubbish looking at that. Stats. Um, he might be worth a bit. 68 pace for a centre back. Brazilian. There's a few consumables in there at least, which I'll probably get my money back. But no, as to yet, nothing really good. No really big pulls. No high paced players. Maybe this method's slowing down a bit this year. But you tend to find this, it comes in dribs and drabs. That guy looked like he had a long name. And again, he's non rare, so I'm not interested in any of them. They don't look like they're up to standard. Some good contracts, though, and at least we've got another player fitness. Could we have a few more of them? To make these uh get the old coin balance up towards the 50k mark, which is what I'm hoping to be at soon. But anyway, straight on with another pack, 750 coins. Wow, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one. It's long, and he's a centre back. Hmm, 65 pace. Actually, bold. Henville was it? He might be worth a bit with that sort of pace in a centre back position. Maybe looking at a K, maybe a K and a half for that guy. More coins. That's a little bit better. Let's see if we can stay on track with these ones and get some even better ones. That's what we're looking for from this episode. And we have got... Schaefer. And he looks like he's non-rare. And he is non-rare, he's a left-back. But we've got a passing coach. He might be worth a bit. Let's move to the trade pile. A few more contracts. And we've got another coach over there. I don't know why he's all the way over there. Not with the other one. Possession. Send him to the trade pile as well. That's not too bad. Should make a bit of profit on that. Maybe a K or so. On to another pack. And this one contains Joe something. I don't even see the second name. Joe Kayong Ho. That's the one. No, it's not worth anything though. More importantly, and again, those are these badges. It's a bit of a downer when you get two rare kits like that. And I think. Anyway, what we're coming up to filling our consumable pile, got 11 spots left. We'll open two more packs and see where that takes us to. And we've got, I don't even know what that name said again. <laughs> but, uh, oh, 42 pace. Can't see him being worth much, but we'll send him to there. Anyway, a few more contracts. And possibly a little bit of profit out of that pack again. But they all add up, I suppose, all these little profits. They do make your coins in the end. So there's another 750 pack, and Vishbilga, <laughs> whether that was pronounced right, I have no idea. And he's 68 pace centre back, he might be worth a bit. And a nice 82 pace striker, that's not a bad one to get. Two more contracts, and again, look at all the kits there, five non-rare kits. Yeah, you're having a laugh with me today. Six paces left, go on, we'll try another pack and see how much consumables this one holds. We've always got the trade pal, we can throw stuff in if we need to. Olsen. Now, is he any good? Is that the... Yes, I was going to say. It's the Blackburn Olsen. 4 one 2, one, two. Well, well, he might be worth a bit. I'm not sure. But even better, we've got another guy with 88 pace. A left mid. I'm sure he had similar pace last year. Looking at the name. It does seem familiar. That's not a bad way to end, I suppose. Two really good players. And a few more contracts. And we've got a pink ball. We'll send to the trade pile as well. So, yep, yeah. as promised, some guy asked me could I show the items which I'd pulled at the end of an episode. In fact, before we do that, I've just forgot, we got a bronze pack before. Let's open this bronze pack to end the episode, actually. And we have got Corella, was that? Or Korea? It is Korea. Or Korea. And we've got a couple of contracts. Uh, it's a badge which is not worth anything so yeah anyway some guy was asking me if I would show the items which I'd pulled at the end of uh, every episode so I've decided I'll do that from now on we'll go straight to the trade pile and show you that first as you can see in the trade pile we've got a couple of balls three players and a coach and the couple of contracts which I did have if we go and look at the squad if we go to active squad and we search these are the players we picked up Obviously, most notably, Olsen for 1212. Think he might be worth a bit. 
um, and this guy who's got 88 pace he should be worth a bit as well but we've got a few good players there anyway which we can put up on the market at 500 bin and see if we can get lucky and get people to buy them and the last thing to look at would be consumables so we'll have a look at what consumables we just picked up there's nothing of anything seriousness this week no squad fitnesses or anything looks a bit poor to be honest a couple of player fitnesses a few manager contracts were quite a lot of uh, player contracts which is good put them up at 250 bin and again the rest of it's just filled with normal contracts so there you go i hope you've enjoyed this episode um did get lucky at the end which was quite nice good way to end the episode um hopefully we will be up towards 45k possibly uh towards 50 by the next episode uh, until next time i've been buttersbridge i hope you've enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos and until next time i shall catch you later